vlog eats. Hi, pals. Look, we're dressed today. Now I'm always dressed. Yeah. Got yeah. that dress on Clarence it's from so Hollister. Pretty. Yeah, and this was part of her. It has shorts in it. Yeah, part of her Easter basket was this little top from Target. They're really cute. I love this top. Yeah, she really likes it. And of course, she's borrowing one of my bags. Kind of loose on you, huh? Huh? This? Yeah, kind of loose on you? Or you like it down there? No, I like it down there. Yeah, that looks cute, I guess. I didn't really think of wearing it that low. Maybe I'll drop mine too a little. Maybe not though, because this is kind of perfect because my shirt's a little bit short. <clears throat> a little shorter than I normally wear. I don't do a lot of crop stuff these days. But the skirt is from American Eagle. Oh, uh, so is the top. So is the bag. So is her bag. Actually, it's all American Eagle. Now that I'm looking so at it. So is my dress. No, your dress is Hollister. Hollister. The skirt, Nala actually has one too because they have a bunch of color. Right? Do you have mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. What color is yours? Green. Yeah, like that really nice like army kind of green. So I got a black one and it has shorts under it. It's really short though. The shorts? They just rise up because they're not tight. Like they're kind of loosey goosey shorts, which yeah. I don't I don't love that. I wish they fit more like bike shorts underneath, but whatever. It's fine. Um, I think I'm wearing an 18, but I tried on the 16 while I was there and then I ended up grabbing the 18 off the rack in a different color. And I regret that. I wish I had just done the 16 because they're a little loosey goosey, but it's fine. Like they, it fits, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna try today the dub whole body anti-friction stick. I'm gonna try it today and we'll see if it sucks or not. And then obviously this is like my real deal one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one in my bag just in case. We're just going out for coffee and I think I'm gonna run to um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Cause you know what I want are those little clear bag. Well, I just wanna go I'll to show you Lobby. guys. Yeah, Nala just wants to go somewhere. So we're just gonna just run out. out. Every Saturday I get ready and mom's like, <sighs> and I'm like, oh my face is too cute. Now people have to see it. Pretty much. Literally. Her brother's not home, so we're just gonna go out. Just the girlies. Yes. Maybe you should get a friendship bracelet that actually matches your fit. I your, speak now. Get one of your Taylor Swift bracelets. I'm, I'm actually now. wearing. I made those. Crashy and Coco on my wrist right now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a little hoodie and then we're gonna go. But I'll take you guys with us. I have a very small little thing I want to do in the car, and we're we're gonna do it. I got my hair done yesterday. I think I took you guys. Oh, I think I showed you already. So. Here she is. This, like I said yesterday, it's very impressive that she was able to lift the color the way that she was. And it didn't cost me a billion dollars. And just, I just love it. It's a long list. Oh, that's really cute actually. Hold on, mm -hmm. let's see. Give it a little twisty poo. Oh yeah, yeah. Eight, $8 on nalaray.com. Nalaray.com. It's exciting for you. Well, pickled things are all pickled in the same way normally. Is well, somewhat. Now I requested a tiny cheese board. That's fig. The oh. jam, the stuff I always put on the charcuterie. Like it is. She requested a tiny cheese board. This will be my sweet <laughs> cracker and then I'll have a savory cracker. Obviously we came to Oak and Bean. We went to Hobby Lobby. We got exactly what we needed, so I'm actually very happy with that. Well, you should, this jam is yummy. I know, that's the one that I always use at the house. Our favorite coffee shop. Without Jaden, it actually feels illegal. We probably have a latte. I have a good latte though. Violet vanilla, very tasty. With oat try, milk. Try to with oat milk. Delicious. Bad lighting. But good food. Good food. Okay, we're back from Hobby Lobby and Oak and Bean and all that. We stopped off and got a few groceries. Can you believe they had the nerve to charge $1.99 for each of these avocados? Look how little they are. These are somebody's baby. These are infant. This is the the veal of avocado I'm holding right now, okay? Wow, anyway. All of this junk was in my car. Like this is just the center console and the glove compartment. And it's not all junk, like a lot of it I want in there. I definitely have what we need. When someone's like, oh, do you have? Yes, I do. Oh, what a, yes, I do. Oh, what? Oh, I'm gonna break into your, uh, no, you're not. This is what I ended up grabbing at Hobby Lobby. They have all these little stickers and it probably would've been cuter for me to be like, you know, med, ER, etc. stuff, car, clean, whatever. You know what I mean? But I was gonna do that. So I just bought some random ones with my initials and then I bought this one I saw on the way out and I was like, oh, mama. So I bought that and then these little three bags. They're not very expensive and they're always on sale, right? So eight bucks like the ones I saw at Target were twenty dollars and they just weren't quite as cute but they were very slim picking so I just got what I could get and we're gonna go ahead and try to organize this stuff and then just throw some little stickies on there to give it that kind of stony clover vibe but 
for much less. And I'm going to go and sit down and do that while I watch this game with Noily Poily. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's editing her bracelets video. She's announcing and she's putting up her shop today probably. Like it's she's, already it's already up, but she's putting it up to the public. Oh my gosh, these were so good. Literally my stomach was absolutely destroyed yesterday from anything I ate, like it had me. It had me somewhere, okay, let me put it that way. But, 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 those are so good. I ate one this morning, I tore it up. Well, it was like a smaller one. It was like a baby version, but I still tore it up. It was so good. Oh, these are so good. Hi, honey. So we're heading out. Here's my house. Oh my goodness. You guys know I uh, got Jaden that lunchies, the the lunchbox that heats itself. I've shown it, I've talked about it before, whatever. It's a pricier lunchbox. However, now having had it for almost a year and him having used it basically every single school day, so like take off the summer, um, you know, I would recommend it at this point. For sure. He loves it. It's obviously very user friendly. He's, you know, 12. He does it himself. But what I will say is the bag that it comes with is absolute garbage. So I bought this one on Amazon, but it's like way too big. It probably doesn't come across on camera just how gigantor this thing is. But by comparison, which I would show you his bag, but he has it. It's very, very, very large. And I don't know. I'm like on the hunt for a better bag. If I can't find one, I'll have to repurchase the lunchies bag. But doesn't it just suck to repurchase something like, to like to buy something that you know is a crappy quality? Like, but ugh, it doesn't happen very often that you kind of find yourself in that position. Um, you know, sometimes like regulation things or clothes or whatever, like for sports or teams, literally both of the kids forgot their polos for Scholastic Bowl today. But that's where we're heading, so <laughs> I have their polos. We're gonna take these, they have like their school logos and stuff on it. But we're gonna head to Romeoville, which is a bit of a, a bit of a drive. Do that, hopefully it actually runs on time, and if it does, then I'm actually um, not quite running late, but we're definitely on the verge of running late. But I wanna make a little iced coffee to go, because I realize I haven't had any coffee today. And they're gonna do that, and if it ends on time, we're gonna go from there straight back to the house, drop off Jay, run inside and get fresh water, yada yada, straight to baseball or softball practice till pretty late, actually. We probably won't get home till about eight o'clock tonight. Tis the season, at least it's relatively nice out. I do have a giant hoodie on because I know it's gonna be getting cold while we're sitting out there. Oh, that reminds me that I need to pack a chair. I think my parents are gonna meet me over there, so I'm not gonna take my Kindle because I can't, I don't read, but if my parents weren't meeting us, I probably would grab my Kindle to read a book. Today, I am feeling a little self-conscious because I'm wearing pink, and I'm not a pink girl. The one color I literally can never wear, period, is red. I find that I feel hideous when I have red on, and I think it's because it brings out the red in my face. Have you guys done those color analysis things? I tried it on TikTok, but girl, I didn't know what I was doing. So I was like, they all look good. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> all the seasons which I know I'm not yeah no red was bad but I kind of feel similarly like with pink but I, I'm trying to make this work because I got this from pop flex this is a large extra large FYI they run very 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 large so I got the plus size one before and it was like wearing a tent like it was way too big because um, it's already such a big oversight like the fact that there's an L on this we're calling this a large a large are we sure we have some new Adidas socks back here with our little uh, pink and blue Air Force Ones. And then I have the matching nails with the pink and blue Air Force Ones. We were just watching a Nelly performance the other day and he did that. And uh, they were, it was pretty lackluster. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like, I'm going to chalk that up to you being a grown, grown man now. Y'all are putting in a little less effort because I remember back in the day we were stomping in our Air Force Ones. Hoping they beat this team. I want to say they've played them twice. They played them at a tournament for sure because it was actually at that team school. And I think they played them one other time. And I want to say they either won or they barely lost. Like it was very close. I want to say they won, but that could be a lie. I don't remember. In fact, maybe they played them twice. I think they're one and one right now. Speaking of losing, Today is Tuesday, okay, in real life. If y'all watched the Cubs Padres game last night, it was a painful one. <laughs> you know what was the worst part? I'm all or nothing, babe. I'm either obsessed with you or I don't care about you. I am, there's no in between for me when it comes to sports. 
I'm obsessed with the Cubs, right? I, I mean, I grew up obsessed with them, loved them. Like, it was my everyday. All that mattered to me was how did the Cubs do? And I went from, like, hating them to that. Not hating them personally, just hating baseball, to being obsessed, to being like, don't even come near me. I don't even want to hear about the game. To being obsessed, to back to like, don't even talk to me about it. And now I'm back to obsessed, literally paying to watch these games because it's like so impossible to find them online. So now I'm at that level again. I'm at the obsessed level, okay? You don't want to, you don't want to be around me when I'm watching it. And the reason I'm so obsessed is because Nala is falling in love with it and watching it and learning about it. And that just excites me so much because there is no sport that I understand the way that I understand baseball. Baseball though, baby, baseball, baseball, I got baseball I understand. So last night I was watching that game and Lewis was watching it with me and he started making comments like, dang, they really gave up that many runs, dang. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I was stressed out, you guys. I was like, I can't watch this with someone who's not upset. I can't watch this with someone who doesn't actually care. And I'll, now I understand how that man feels when he's watching fantasy people play and I'm sitting there de doodling, doddling around, doing whatever, living my life, talking about, I don't know, I think so-and-so caught it or I don't, I understand. I understand. Actually, I really want to go to some different games, some different stadiums this year. I think that'd be fun. To me, it's such a fun game to watch. I love it. I get that a lot of people think it's boring, but I think, you know, with baseball, you just, you have to have patience. It's not a go, go, go kind of game, but you know, there's like 160 games. Like they can't go, go, go every second the whole time. These men will be out there dying. <laughs> like we don't want that, do we? I know I don't. We're just going to do caramel today. Why I didn't put the ice in first? I'm gonna tell you why in a second. All right, I gotta get the ice, which means that it's gonna start making this funny noise. Let's see, this is what happens when other people in the house like coffee. Hey, now my mom just discovering how delicious Stoke is. I mean, I love it for her, but isn't that funny? Cause she was like, "Yeah, I got some Stoke, and you know, I made a coffee, and oh my gosh, it was so good." And I'm like, that's so funny that it never occurred to me that my mom wasn't buying it. Cause she always comes over, you know, and she'll be like, Jane, you make such good iced coffee and you make such good coffee and da da da. And she's totally right, we do. But I was like, half of it is just the fact that we're using good coffee to begin with. Stoke makes it very easy to make an amazing iced coffee. This needs more coffee, but I gotta go outside to get it. Um, but yeah, she was like, oh yeah, I got some. Why is that so funny to me? Like. Uh, Patty, I have been talking about, I've been talking about Stoke for like six years. Hi, Vlogensteins. We are in the midst of a rushy rush rush. The kids won yeah. their I got, final regulation meet. I got a math toss up. It was variables and me and variables were best friends. So Nala made a new bestie in variables. Um, it's, we're talking about math. Because it was I know five x plus are. twelve equals negative three minus four, which pretty much is sixteen equals negative. Um, it was sixteen equals negative eight. So I said negative two, and I got it so quickly. Ten points. Now little school, and they got the toss up, which is a possible twenty points. Anyway, um, the sun is just setting, and so my cheeks are so freaking pink because it was just all over our faces for the 40 minute drive back from there. We are, we went home, dropped Jay uh, with Lewis and we are running to the post office real quick because Nala has a bag full of- Oh, we're going to the post office? Yes, too? yes, you need to get these shipped out. Okay. Nala needs to get these shipped out. So these are, her first 10 orders are in here. She has more, but Tia's what the Tia is. She can only do what she can do as you can see. I'm actually a little frozen person right now. I'm so cold. It's <clears throat> like 7 o'clock, so she only has about 30 more minutes of this practice. But I had to come back to the car <laughs> because I am so cold. Um, that's why I'm trying to get in the car. Not my car, but uh, yeah, I can't handle it anymore. I figured I might as well bring my stuff and put it in here. 
and get a freaking blanket. Oh my gosh. So back to our uh, emergency softball blankets in the trunk. I'm so cold. It's so cold. It's because the sun went down. The second the sun goes down, it reminds you. It's not here to play with you. Although, hey, plus side. Can I show you this? Can I flash you? Do you see it? You see it? That's right, baby. I brought a suture removal kit and I just lifted up my shirt. Not too far now. And my mom took my stitches out for me, which is wonderful. Cancel that appointment with the doc. I don't need it, okay? My mom took it out for me. I don't even know if I told you guys. I had a cyst remove, um, just like a little thing I had right here. And uh, anyway, they were like, two weeks from now, get them stitches out. My mom's like, You're, these stitches are a part of your body now. I was like, that's what I was saying. They were looking a little snug as a bug in a rug. Anyway, she got it out, thankfully. <gasps> okay, let me go back up there. Oh, I wake up sneezing every day. Like, literally every day. It's just 10,000 sneezes to get the day started. I'm starting to wonder if it's the house. Um, and I, like, try to pay attention when... Oh, my gosh, my trunk is full. I'm going to try to pay attention when we go to uh, wherever we're going. But anyway, we're traveling soon-ish. And I'm going to see if when I'm out of town... I'm still sneezing like crazy lady. Uh, this is my trunk at the moment. It's annoying. I just grabbed some of these because I forgot that I kept them. I keep them. I bought a box and I keep them in the like overflow area that we have, but they don't do me any good there and I never think about them. So we're going to put all the softball stuff away. Why is this squishy? Oh, is her sweater in here? Let me, let me arrange this. Okay, I put most of it away. But I have this little compartment, which I'm sure most of your, like, SUVs and stuff have. Um, it's obviously full of seeds and corn nuts and now hand warmers. And then this is, like, an extra blanket. And this is another blanket. That's the car manual. And this is, like, my favorite thing ever. I know I've already talked to you guys about it before, so I'll spare you the long, you know, drawn-out thing. But it's just a spare battery, basically. It can um, jumpstart your car. It can refill your tires. It can give you... A ton of you know just juice basically if you need it but let's put this stuff away and we're gonna give it a little vacuum I do keep a little vacuum in the car as well this was when I had gotten surgery and I was like on my QVC I was like in my QVC HSN era which PS the other day I put it on while I was reading a book girl why yes I ordered stuff and it's like my ultimate, my ultimate like dream is to be on like QVC or HSN. I really like HSN. Oh, I like them both. And just be up there like, yes. And then this comes and girl, if you could have seen the shoes they had on there the other day, the soles were like rubber and like, these were the most, I'm 79 years old kind of shoes. Okay. And then they had the nerve to say, which is perfectly fine, right? Like know your audience, but but they had the nerve to say, yes, you can wear these to prom, 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 to prom, to, to prom. I just, I just love it though. I love the storytelling. I love the, and then you can wear this and I love it. You can wear this to the picnic. And when you don't know what to wear to church, you can wear this to church and it's so versatile. And look at that hem. Look at that. Yes. This is the, oh, this is the, uh, and there's only 300 left in the indigo, okay? There's only 300 left in the indigo. And if you're already doing it, you can get it for, the, I mean, with easy pay, it's three payments of $13.90, okay? All right. You might as well get the black as well because the black is timeless. But the indigo, look at this. Look at this on our model over here. Yeah, she's wearing the indigo. That's an XL. <laughs> what I love it. I love it. I love it. But girl, ain't nobody wearing them shoes in bra. <laughs> Anyway, car vacuum. <clears throat> not cleaning the car. It's not that kind of part. But I think I might go to Sam's today. There are some bulk items we really need. And I do need to make a trip to the grocery store. So today I'm going to Pilates. I snuck into the class, which I'm so excited about. I'm about to clean the inside of the car a tiny bit. Just get the kids crap out of here because they are in fact annoying <laughs> when it comes to leaving cups in the car. And this drives me absolutely insane, you guys. It drives me insane when people leave stuff in the car. I don't do that, ever. I never, ever, 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 ever do that. You're never gonna catch me leaving a bunch of food in the car. Just, just, it's like, you know, I know it looks like a tiny garbage can, but it's not a tiny garbage can. 
Now what, while I have you, this is a tool, I strapped it up with a, um, a zip tie, okay? But this is a tool for breaking the window and slicing through seat belts. You see that right there? And in order to get it off, you just yank and uh, you press this and it'll crack, it'll break your window, it'll shatter it. And the reason this one is hanging here is because this is where Nala sits. Even when Jaden's not in the car, Nala sits in the back seat. I don't know if you guys have picked up on that. Uh, she doesn't like sitting in the front seat. Then I have these little purse hooks. I've had these forever. The original one's actually sitting underneath the seat right now. It got twisted and bent. It was a two pack. I lost one and then I bent the other one. But these are amazing because you can just kind of hang that. I don't know why she put it on that one. I told Nala to hang it up yesterday. She put it on the wrong side. That's like too far away from me. Anyway, it just hooks on and then when I get in the car, I can just hook it here. But if Nala's in the car, I hook it on that one. Also, if you recall the other day, geez Louise, there's so many pencils in this car. We also keep uh, umbrellas in the doors, so there's two umbrellas in here. And then over here, if you guys recall the other day, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these little, like these little things, and this was to organize um, my stuff. So this is like my stuff and Tide pens and stuff like that. And then this was more like car stuff, like wipes and tissues and um what oh all the flossers and the nail files and stuff like that like just things that honestly you're in the car and you're like dang i really need a nail clipper or tweezers or whatever like they're right here and i have flossers and um little emergency like every every blue moon i'm like y'all did did you brush your teeth and then they're like oh no i forgot to brush my teeth and then we gotta bust out like colgate wisps just for a little a little something and i got like spare i need one more of these like this size for like my mace my cleaning stuff i have a spare pair of pilates socks in here and then my motion sickness glasses i saw this on someone's amazon storefront thing whatever you know like you know the amazon girlies but you like spray and then you actually use the side of it to clean although to be honest with you it's a little jank this thing has always fallen out and uh it's not my favorite way to clean it i like to use like actual little you know dust pads or whatever so i use these <laughs> to give it a little a little scrub a dub dub every now and again but they're okay we use them on the computers and stuff like that um i bought one for each of the kids and then you just pull it out and refill it it has a solution in there. But yeah, these little packs make it a way more organized. It used to just, all the stuff was always in here. It was just a hot mess. And these are just car wipes. And then over here, we have just the stuff that I need. Um, mailbox keys, sanitizers, mint gum, sanitizer again. I have a knife. Our like medical stuff. So just, not medical, but you know, Advil, Tylenol for the kids, Zyrtex lactates whatever stuff we need in the car sometimes i have another one of these again it's to break the mirror and then it's to slice the thing the kids know these are in here and then i have some mace and stuff this was also from hobby lobby the little things were only like a few bucks like five bucks or something and then the stickers were like two bucks love that and then i think the last thing i have that's just like at the top of my head is i have another one of these so i have one up here and it's zip tied onto this thing the guy originally showed it clipped up here somewhere and i couldn't understand how he had done that because if you slide it on there you have to slide it on where the knife is and like why the heck would i do that <laughs> obviously i wouldn't but yeah okay those are some of my car car faves i get asked a lot what kind of car i drive it's a cadillac xt6 it's their biggest suv that's not an escalade i consider getting the escalade every other day i swear i just i don't know this is already a big car it's already taking up a lot of space I really like the size of it. I just, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do the escalade. I don't know. I don't like the price of it and I don't like how massive it is. It's very large. Okay, we are done with class. I just upgraded my membership actually because it was kind of silly. The way they have it set up, which I know a lot of people are like, Sarah, just go to a local Pilates place, da da da. Like, yeah, no, there is a localer, a localer, <laughs> a localer class. But um, that one is, I don't know maybe I will eventually but I was looking at it and I kind of I don't know I like I like their setup and I like how easy it is to like book the classes that being said the way they set it up is that like say your new membership credits come in on like the fifth then you cannot book a class beyond the fifth until your membership renews now the reason that matters is because there's only like 10 or 12 reformers in there whatever however many there are 12 let's say 12 okay well there's a billion people and um there's three different class levels there's one one and a half and two and there are only let's say three ones a day and you have to 
book them and they're like not all going to be desirable times. They literally start from like 6 a.m. to like 6 p.m. basically. So, um, but like I said, there's only like three, like now take that three and multiply it times the amount of reformers there are. They get booked super fast and you can't like, you'd think like, okay, we'll just save a couple of your credits from like, let's say January and use them in February, you know, and, and that way, like you have a couple that roll over and you're able to book that first week or two after your credits renew. No, ma'am, your credits disappear when the new ones come in. So you can't book into that. So this is my week of my credits just renewed. So this week I'm scrambling to try to get in classes and next week I'm scrambling to try to get in classes. And there are certain instructors that I really like now that I've tried quite a few of them. I mean, the one I took today, she's bomb. She's number one. She's barely here and I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get you girl. But there are some others that I like as well. But even so, it's really hard. You end up waitlisted and then you don't know if you can go or if you can go and then da da da. And so I just upgraded to the unlimited because it gives me access to three studios because I guess the same people own them all. And um, the price difference was 40 bucks, which is basically the cost of buying one extra credit. A credit is $35. I was like, well, <laughs> kind of makes sense so I went from the eight credit to the unlimited and now I have access to the other studios so that works for me babe because my mom when she goes with me she just buys a credit each time she goes so she's not like um she's not married to any studio yeah okay so I wasn't anticipating doing that but I think it's gonna make this experience a lot less stressful I don't like not knowing what I'm gonna do I'm a planner babe I like to plan that's kind of a thing I know some of you guys like to fly by the seat of your pants not me I don't know where that expression came from, but I want to do the opposite of flying by the seat of my pants. Since we're already dressed, caffeinated, <laughs> let's go to Sam's Club, which makes me so excited because they have the self-checkout thing where you can check out on your phone. So very excited about that. Let's go to Sam's Club. And it's not that far from my house versus Costco, which is like a thousand years away from my house. Costco is so far from my house. It's just like, it's not far from here, but it's far from where I live. Well, I need a car wash. Maybe I'll go get a car wash and that way I can vacuum the car out. The worst part of this trip is I can literally see the running total. And in my brain, I'm like, keep together, sister, keep together. I didn't keep it together. <laughs> it's okay, I got a lot of stuff. You know, I always feel blessed to be able to buy groceries. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at right now. Let's unload this car. This actually isn't that much stuff. I did have to go to uh, Jewel. I went to Jewel because I had to get milk and stuff. <laughs> yeah, back on our milk trip. I'm trying to leave the stuff out here that belongs out here, like some of the drinks and chips and stuff. Ugh. I got a water bottle set too, listed at 20 bucks, but I got it for 16. How? I stole it. Just kidding. <laughs> The other day somebody was talking to me about something and they were like messaging me and they were like, girl, is there any way you know of to get a discount on this? And my automatic response was to joke and be like, oh, just steal it. You know, like, oh, that's the best discount. And then I thought, nah, someone's going to screenshot this. It's going to be posted up. People are going to be acting like I'm telling them to steal. I mean, I don't advocate stealing, but I'd like jokes. Look at what I bought myself. Let me show you what Lewis bought me. Hindsight, I wish I hadn't bought these for $16. Even though I really like having flowers in the house now, it's kind of my new thing. But I didn't need to buy these because I came home. Lo and behold, we got ourselves a fresh bouquet and chocolate. Jay, they were tripping out the other day when they saw us standing next to each other. Some of you guys didn't realize, come here to the side of me. Some of you guys didn't realize. I'm like half. Your head taller. How much taller Jaden had gotten than me? Uh, well, the hair is some of it. Why don't you press your hair down? See, that has a little something to do with it for sure. You'll see that our his shoulders are a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of a. I got Jayden, long legs. Jaden has gotten a little taller. He's gotten got longer legs. A little bigger. You have longer legs. Mm -hmm. We're like pretty similar in the bottom half. I feel like. Mm. I feel like this is my natural waist. Here's your, okay, yeah, you're a little bit above me. It's really shoulders. You can tell the shoulders, I yeah. feel like. Right. I'm like half the height of your, uh, 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 an additional, like, half of your head. What's going on? He actually, he had a little growth spurt back in, was it December? But then so. he, he hasn't really grown a whole lot since then. Yeah. So, he literally shot up an inch in three weeks, and then he kind of chilled. Does it hurt? Does it, you get, like, shin splints? Sometimes my legs really hurt. Your shins or your knees or what? All my of knees. it? Your knees. My knees and like... And I really had a growth spurt. I did like kind of bottom back. Nice. Actually, now that I'm looking at your pants, they're gonna probably be too short soon. 
Well, they always go up. That's why you gotta make sure to wear black socks and not freaking mismatched red and purple socks. Like, I and I be telling I, you, Jay, I, you need to put on black socks. I don't have and then you be playing games, <laughs> putting on crazy socks. Your hair definitely did not get wet enough and did not have enough gel today. I actually hate that the kids were gone all day. Like, I know they had a good time and everything, but. It's nighttime now and the day's starting over and I only got to see them for a little bit this morning and literally hate it. But it's okay, they had a good time. And it's a nice time of year because the kids don't have any days off. Like they do not have days off. And so right now the only time they're getting kind of off of school, a little break from school is with field trips. And they have like lots of field trip opportunities. So or I'm not gonna say a lot, but like a few. And uh, that's fun for them, so. You know, I'm glad they can go do stuff like that. It's just, I'm selfish and I love my children and I like them being around and being home and just being near me. We don't gotta be doing the same thing, but I like for them to be around. <sighs> I think about that all the time, about them getting older and going off, you know? And I'm like, that's like just not that far off. Like today is actually my best friend's daughter's 18th birthday. Is this, is this real life? Like, you're, is this really how old your kid is? Like, is, are you, is everything okay? <laughs> like. How is this possible? I cannot believe her daughter's 18. How are she 18 and we're still 27? How does the math math? <sighs> I'm not gonna sit here and worry about the future and pretend like I know what's gonna happen because I don't. I'm in control of nothing and honestly, that's how I like it. Actually, this is probably enough for a vlog, huh? So this is probably the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will uh, smell you in the next one. Bye.